What's up YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be re-filming a video for you guys that I filmed a few days ago and it's on how to do an easy, quick smoky eye. And you can do this as natural or as dramatic as you want and I'll give you a few different options on how you can make it um, like natural for a daytime and then you can even take that to a nighttime, you know, it's like say you're going to work and you want to be a little extra for work, but then later you're going to go have happy hour with some friends and you can just throw on a little bit more and it's going to like bump that up to a natural or no, sorry, not a natural, like a nice um, dramatic smoky eye. Um, it's really quick really easy so um, let's get started so first what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take um, an eyeliner and you want to use um, a gel eyeliner not something that's super hard like a pencil liner is fine if it's a soft pencil um, or not a liquid liner um, so I'm gonna use a gel liner. I'm just gonna put a smudgy brush this is what my smudgy brush looks like um, it's also called a pencil brush, I think. And I'm just gonna lay that on top of the lash line. And I'm gonna put some on this side as well because I have enough on my brush right now for both eyes. And this doesn't have to be perfect. Like you can just like slap this on there and then just kind of start blending that out. I'm gonna wipe it off because um, at this point now I'm just trying to smudge it out. I'm not like adding more product if you know what I mean. So get that on there. Smudge, 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 smudge. And it's going to look a little crazy, right? Like you have like a really thick black line. Um, oh, and by the way, it doesn't have to be um, black eyeliner. So if you have blue eyes, then like a really, oh, I'm going to clean that up. Okay, so it doesn't have to be a black eyeliner. If you have blue eyes, then a brown eyeliner would be really pretty, or even a dark blue eyeliner would be really pretty. And if you have green eyes, then a um, dark purple eyeliner would be really pretty. So it doesn't have to be black. Because I have dark hair and dark eyebrows and dark features, um, I like to use black. I'm not trying to bring out anything in my eyes. Ain't nothing to bring out. No, it's sad, but. You know, what can you do? Can't change your eye color unless you put in contacts. And, well, I'm not about that, <laughs> right? Okay, so I've got the eyeliner on and it's smudged out and it looks pretty terrible. I mean, it's not cute, right? So we're gonna be using the Jaclyn Hill palette today, but you can use any eyeshadow that you want. I am gonna use um, this one right here in the Jaclyn Hill palette. I don't know the name of it because the names aren't printed on it. You can look at the names. It's that one right now. So I'm going to use a flat brush. This is my flat brush. And I'm going to dip it in there. And I'm just going to lay that on top of the eyeliner just like so. And this part also doesn't have to be perfect. You just pack it on there because we're gonna end up smoothing out anything that looks crazy. And I'm putting this all over the whole lid, just like that. Stopping where you feel the bone, that's where you wanna like stop. Now I'm going in with a fluffy brush. I'm gonna use this one, it's kinda dirty. And I'm going to grab this color. This is the only color I remember. It's called Pukey. Um, it's, I, that's the only reason I remember it because it's such a funny name. And I'm going to grab a little bit of that and I'm going to just smooth out that edge of what I, like where I ended that eyeshadow. This is called a transition color. For your transition color, it's important, in my opinion, to use something that is not too dark. You want something um, that's kind of like a medium tone color and you want it to be matte. Again, that's my opinion. There's no rules in makeup, but that's just what I think looks best. And I know this looks crazy over here, but I'm gonna clean it up in a little bit. Because we're still gonna be messy for a minute, so. We'll do all the cleaning 
later. Okay, so I'm gonna take off all the eyeshadow and make sure that it's like, I don't know, just nothing hardly on the brush. And I'm just gonna like blend it really lightly all the way towards my eyebrow. I wanna leave this top part of the eyebrow like light right here cause it's gonna, I want that to be highlighted. But, um, so you're just gonna like take the pressure off of the brush and for the blending part. Um, I've always heard, oh, you just need to blend, 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 blend. It's like, no, 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 you do blend, but you don't blend your heart out. Like you have to know where to blend, when to stop blending, um, where to take your pressure off of the brush. And that's really the trick. The trick isn't to just like blend your heart out. It's to know when and when to not blend. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna go ahead and clean that up a little bit. And then all I'm gonna do is just highlight my brow bone and then highlight the inner corner of my eyes. And then you can throw on your mascara and it's a really pretty, like natural smoky eye. And so you, that can be just like a really quick, like running out the door, but I want something on. Look, so I'm taking the same flat brush. You can use any brush you want. And I'm popping a little bit of highlight in this inner corner. Also on that brow bone, just a little bit. See how pretty that is? Like it just looks really natural. If I were to just put some mascara on, it would just be really pretty. And I used, this is my favorite highlighter in her palette. This one's a little bit too bright for me, but this one's just like perfect and vanilla and smooth. I really like it. Okay. So let's take this, I'll sh I'm gonna show you now how you can like take it a step further. Um, and actually you can take it several steps further and you can stop at any point. So I'm gonna take a brush, I'm gonna use this one. It's also dirty. And I'm gonna grab a matte brown. I'm actually gonna mix these three here. You just want like kind of a darkish brown. This one over here is like a super dark brown. I'm not gonna grab that quite yet. I just wanna take it, I'm gonna show you guys how to take it just a little bit further. So you can just kind of grab like a chocolatey brown. And I'm gonna mix those three because I like mixing. Um, but you definitely don't have to. You can just pick one if you want. I'm gonna just pop it on the outer V area. That's what this part's called, outer V. Pop it there and then just very softly blend it in. Okay, so you can stop there, but let's take it even further. Let's grab this real dark one. You can even now grab the black color if you want. And I'm just gonna use the same brush just to keep it easy. I'm grabbing that really dark brown. And I'm, the darker you get, the closer you want to keep it to the lash line and not blend too much. So I'm trying to keep this color now really close to the lash line. And also the darker you go, the less you want to blend. So I'm not blending any further this way. I'm just kind of like keeping it all over here. Just like that. See the difference? Like just a little tiny bit more turns it into a more dramatic smoky eye. Ooh, pretty. That is nice. Yeah, I like it. Okay, so let's take it even a step further. Let's grab the black color. Um, I'm gonna grab a different brush that's not so fluffy. Actually, I'm gonna go back in with the pencil brush that I used and just put that along the lash line. There's so many ways to do smoky eyes. Um, and this is the not the way that I usually do it on a client. This is the way I do it on myself when, you know, <laughs> I have a toddler and I don't have a lot of time to, you know, just, I don't know, do a lot of makeup. And this is just the quickest smoky eye that I've 
um, come up with and I just think it's really pretty really easy so see how pretty that is now imagine if I had my mascara on right so I'm gonna go ahead and pop my mascara on and then show you guys what it looks like okay so here it is with the mascara um, you can totally stop here or we could take it even a step further grab um, my Jaclyn Hill palette again and I'm gonna go in with some of the colors that I use so I'm just gonna grab this one that I used first I'm gonna grab this one and then I'll even grab that one and I'm just gonna take a very stiff brush it doesn't have to be too sti bleh, stiff it doesn't have to be too <laughs> stiff um, but this one's a pretty stiff brush because I want to keep the eyeshadow from falling and I'm just gonna um, smoke out that bottom lash line a little bit and this is gonna make it even look more smoky um, see that by the way, y'all, I am using my camera phone. So I don't have a fancy camera yet, maybe one day, but I'm just getting started. And so I use my camera phone for taking video. So it's not the best quality. So I apologize if you know, you're watching this and you're thinking like, dang girl, you need to change the settings on your camera. Well, it's not a camera, it's a phone. <laughs> um, but I just feel like I want to get this content out to you guys regardless of um, what camera it is or what the quality is because I think it's valuable and if people could just learn how to do their makeup with some of my tricks then they will be, it's going to transform the way that you do your makeup and it's going to make it quicker and you know, you're just going to feel better and more confident when you do your makeup. So that's why I'm doing these tutorials even though they're on my phone. <laughs> so you can stop here um, you could also line the eyeliner um, you can use black or you could use white if you use white it's gonna like give you a more like um, brighter bigger eye if you use black it might make your eyes look a little bit smaller but it's gonna give you a more dramatic sultry look so I'm gonna show you how to take it even a step further and make it more dramatic so you can grab any pencil eyeliner, a waterproof one is good. Um, I like the Makeup Forever one. I'm just gonna use the same one that I used a second ago and a brush because I have it out and it's easy. And I'm just gonna put that there in my waterline and I'm also gonna pop it up here. And if you've never put eyeliner up here, um, it kind of tickles, <laughs> but it makes a difference. See that? Do you see the difference? Do, 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 do. This one's more dramatic and sultry, and this one is a little bit more innocent and still, um, like, slightly natural. <laughs> so let's go ahead and do this side. I don't want to be uneven today, you know? La, 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 la. To like shake out my eyes after I do it. Okay, there you have it. I'm done. You can make it even more dramatic than this if you want to by just adding more black in that outer V. Um, but I really like it how it is now. I think it's pretty um, dramatic. I'm just having some friends over to um, hang out. So yeah, that's it. Let me know what you think of this video. Give me a thumbs up, please. And please subscribe. It really helps me out to keep going and to keep giving you guys good content. Um, if you have any requests, please drop them in the comments below and I will see y'all soon. Okay. Bye. Have a good day.